Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Clarksville, Tennessee with Jeremiah Payne, Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. And he gets into a little bit of an argument with an officer about blocking the sidewalk according to city ordinance. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy Jeremiah Payne acting like a complete jackass. Okay. I was just heard now someone called because they saw, apparently they saw your daughter a little bit fur, further away from Out of my arms. Out of, that's, that's what I told him. I can't let you know here. what they said. Yeah. Um, I mean, when he walked up, he was sitting right here. And, and I just let her know you. It didn't like it. Can't obstruct the sidewalk so you can stay stationary and just try to move it to the grass. Yeah. We, I told him we didn't want to be on their property. We didn't want to get in trouble to be on McDonald's property. But he said yeah, we need to move back. No, we said, because we are. He said move back to McDonald's. Move back to the grass. Tell us something, Jeremiah. Uh, is that the same red wagon that was used in that e-begging TikTok video that you produced a few days ago? Well, of course it is, because it's been seen in several more videos since then with you and Saboxa. Uh, well begging for more money in each one and way to poorly disguise your uh, wifey there to try to help out in that little scheme of yours i mean dang you should at least change your clothes every once in a while we just didn't want to be in trouble for i'm just letting you know city code says yeah. 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 if you're going to stay stationary can't obstruct the sidewalk okay. we just um, didn't want to get in trouble for being on the back you mind if i take down your name do i have to get it Am I in trouble? Am I in trouble? No. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get it. I don't want to. Oh, oh yeah, sure. You're proud right now. But uh, what about in a few minutes when she actually gives her name and everything like that? I mean, yeah. Didn't you bother to look at this whole video before? Put, uh, editing this into your video at all because it kind of makes you look like a complete dumbass at this point. It's a double shot roll, but I don't see why it matters. Yeah. If you're going to get an attitude, then I'll, I'll start pressing the issue. How am I getting an attitude by your mumble and stuff under your breath? Yeah, I said it's a double sidewalk. People get by us perfectly. Nobody's complaining. No can of truck. And I'm allowed to get a fucking attitude if I want to. People call y'all over okay, stupid that's... and y'all waste y'all time and resources right. coming out here over nothing. Right. Go ahead. Since that is a violation of city code, go ahead and pull out your ID. No, it's not. We move. You asked and, us to move and, and we move. Still a violation. How? You were obstructing the sidewalk. No, so we wasn't. Moved. We moved. Oh, by the way, Jeremiah, I'm just wondering, how's that job search coming? I know you keep saying that you got one right around the corner, but you've been saying that for years now. Longer than I've been watching for auditors anyway. So, when is your job coming? When is it a right, not just going to be right around the corner, but when are you going to actually be on the job? You're only being it now because I mumbled under my breath and you even said it. I was cutting you a break and then you decided... All I said was it's a double sidewalk. People get by us perfectly. And I was being kind explaining that it's a That's all I said to you, man, was it's a double sidewalk. Nobody's had a problem getting by us. That's all I said. And you got mad about it. Yeah. It's still a violation of city code, and I was going to cut you a break by just telling you to move. Yeah, all I so said was I, it's a double so side, so I'm not allowed to. to so I'm not allowed to express my opinion. That's fine, but I'm going to express my my ability to enforce the city code, which is a violation of the city code. You can't obstruct. A city we wasn't sidewalk. obstructing the sidewalk. I can still see your bike sitting there. You guys had it set up. Obstructing it would be blocking the whole thing. Speaking of obstruction, dude, and I know you're about to say, 
But obstruction is only a physical act, which it is not. You can obstruct an officer with simply your words at a traffic stop, preventing him from doing his job, which could lead to a whole host of outcomes for the traffic stop that may not be intended. But of course, you're a frauder and you have no foresight whatsoever. You only think of yourself in the short term, not in the long term for society as a whole. Don't give it, Sam. It's either that or I thank you for resisting and then we call DCS. For resisting? That? Really? Yes. So you're going to threaten DCS? Yes. Boy, you're going to go far. Well, you know DCS. that? You just did, man. No, I'm saying I'm going to because you all go to jail for resisting. I'm not. For resisting? Yes. Resisting is a, phys not, a by physical not act. Your identification. Resisting is a physical act. Same thing. Yeah, same thing, by not identifying. Look, he called codes, man. Look at this shit, guys. And, of course, we've got to think about the innocent one in this whole debacle involving Jeremiah throughout these past few years is this little girl right here. How is she going to grow up to be a productive member of society when, uh, well, she's got Jeremiah Payne as a father? Oh, man, I can only imagine what she's going to be like when she uh, grows up. And especially the fact that she's being homeschooled and she's being taught the earth is flat and maybe a geocentrist at that. That part I'm not sure about. But the, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. It's on a little bit of trash can. Do you want to give me your ID? Yeah, I don't want to go to jail. What's your name and badge number? Officer Freeman, 5065. No, don't no, ask no. Don't, don't, don't get nothing from that tyrant. Samantha Baker. Samantha Payne. Everybody, did you see this guy threaten me and get mad and butt hurt because I said people get by is fine? No, the only one I see here at butt hurt is you, dude. I mean, you should take a look at your own live streams of how often you get butt hurt. I mean, it is a sight to behold and extremely hilarious. I'm allowed to yeah, say words. And all I said was people get by us perfectly and he got when, mad. When you threatened y'all. to get an attitude and um, start talking crap under his breath. Well, it's so video. I'm going to exercise my right to identify them for the city code. Well, so it's, he's failing to identify himself right now. So unless you want to identify yourself right now, you're going to be placed in, in custody for... So, so on video, if yeah. I don't get my ID, you're going to arrest me. By failing to identify yourself. No, no, no. Telling you and to answer my question. Code. Answer my question. Yeah. Yes. You should be used to getting arrested on camera. I mean, remember the last time that you really got arrested on camera i do and it was freaking hilarious and your webcam was left on for how many hours at least 100 hours that i can recall Ooh, boy i bet Streamyard must have been happy with you that uh week all right i'll give that to my attorney you're okay. dude you're fucked well, I'm, I'm real scared. You're, I'm real scared. you will be your name will be listed on the lawsuit buddy actually i ain't giving my id i'll just give my name Oh boy, you're threatening another lawsuit. How scary. You know, a lawsuit threat from a frauditor is like a dog with no teeth. It's just not going to do much of anything to you at all. I mean, you shouldn't be scared of it at all. When it, when it deals with the welfare of a child. So I can call and lie about anything for when a kid. And I mean, I'm just saying, y'all go in. But y'all go into checking, y'all realize nothing like right. that was going so, on. Y'all don't do nothing to so the person also, that wasted resources. Saying, right? So what he said is when he got here, right, the only thing he saw was the obstruction of the sidewalk. And he asked you to move. Yep. Right? And then... There I said people was getting by us perfect. Right, right. And he got mad. Projection is a hell of a thing, isn't it? Deflection, projection, and sheer stupidity from Jeremiah Payne. They think they're funny, man. And but, like I said, man, we were moving. Okay. There was no need for him to call code. And he didn't call code. So. They came lights and siren. Well, they should. 
Yeah. Yeah. Two right here came lights and siren. Okay. All right. So, so listen to me. If you want to file a complaint on him. Yeah, okay? I do. All right. So here's what I need you to do. All right. All right. I can do it. All right. Mm -hmm. But what I need from you is I need your information. I've already gave it. Did you give him your ID and all that? I gave my name and everything. Yeah, I watched the whole video, and I sure as hell didn't see it. Uh, I think, you know, you might be lying. Nah, that couldn't be. Frauditors never lie. And uh, my channel is Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom on YouTube. Okay. And he will go viral. I hate to say it, but he will. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he must be trembling in his boots that he'll go viral on YouTube. Oh, what a horrifying thought of going viral on a uh, social platform like that. Oh, oh, I'm sure he's not going to get any sleep at night. Big freaking deal, dude. Quit acting like you're so big and bad and everything like that. You're nothing, dude. Never have been. I mean, you're just an e-begging, grifting, little turd sandwich that hasn't gone anywhere in life. And that's all you ever will be, dude. And it's just too bad that you had to reproduce and, and create a daughter that's going to have to sit through all this with you. What a shame. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.